The topic about relics being in a bubble and that bubble's about to burst has been so overdone on YouTube. And that is until the bubble actually bursts. Welcome to Bark and Jack, I'm Adrian. If you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button down the bottom and the little bell icon so you get notifications. And if you want, pop over to barkandjack.shop and check out our leather straps and NATO straps that we have over there. The Rolex pre-owned market, and that includes the grey dealers, has it's, it's been a massive talking point for a long time because prices have just been absolutely ridiculous. They've, they've been sky high and some watches are trading over double the retail price, which is, and these watches are still in production. They're not discontinued watches. And so people talking about the fact that Rolex are in a bubble and that this, well not Rolex, the, the kind of market is in a bubble and the market will crash or the bubble will burst and it's all down to a recession happening or it's, it's down to Brexit happening. The truth is there's lots of factors that go into this, but something happened yesterday that proves that the bubble has burst. There have been a few indicators leading up to this, but yesterday Watchfinder, which is the largest reseller in the UK, it's kind of like the UK's version of Bob's Watches, if, if you will, they sent out an email promoting a sale on Rolex watches. The watches which are supposed to be the easy watches to sell, they're having to push them. And some of the discounts are ridiculous. Now, it's, it's a bit uh, kind of gray, this area around pricing, because obviously it's a gray market. It's, it's, uh, there's no official pricing on what these watches should be. And watch finder typically are very expensive. But for them to offer such a heavy discount on watches is quite an epic sign that the bubble has actually burst. Something else that I've seen just walking about is waitlisted watches being in shop windows. I'm talking about the Tudor GMT, the Tudor Black Bay 58, and a Rolex Explorer. Now, you could just say that seeing waitlisted watches in a window is just, you're just lucky. But if you think about the process for that watch to actually make it to the window, these watches are usually sold the moment they come into the shop. For that watch to get into the window, the AD has to call everyone or should call everyone on their wait list and say, this watch is in, do you want it? That means all of the fake VIP clients who are actually gray market dealers, they've all passed on the opportunity to potentially make profit on that watch. It's a good thing for the community because it means that real end users, people who actually want the watch are able to get it. It's not getting into the hands of the wrong people. But for those who are selling watches, it really isn't a good sign. I did a video a while ago around the bubble that is the Rolex Steel Sports watch market. Uh, and I, I broke it down and I said, I think that there's three bubbles within this massive Rolex bubble. You've got the six digit reference numbers. So pretty much the current offering of watches and that's pretty much all the ceramic models. You then have the five digit reference numbers, so kind of pre-2010, and then you have the vintage four digit reference watches. I also said in that video that I think the first bubble that will burst is gonna be the six digit reference models. And that's pretty much been proven by what Watchfinder did yesterday. They, they put a massive sale on their watches are either just six digit references or the current offerings from Rolex. There are a couple of vintage watches within this sale. For example, there's a couple of 1016s which have 4,000 pounds knocked off their price, but the majority of the watches are the ceramic era of Rolexes. I've put together a few comparisons of uh, the UK market, watch finder kind of representing the UK market, We've got Watchmaster over in Germany, representing kind of the European market, and then I've got Bob's watches over in America. I've completely ignored Chrono 24 simply because there are so many uh, variants within Chrono 24. You've got multiple markets. You've got people based in one country but selling in another country. You've got private sellers. You've got actual watch dealers. You've got kind of corporate watch dealers on there as well. So that there are too many variables. I've completely ignored it, so I'm just sticking to these three main players for the comparison. The Rolex Submariner, the 11406, so the no-date Submariner, which retails for 5750 is still selling at quite a high premium at over £8,000 on Watchfinder. A similar price, but in dollars, Bob's Watches and Watchmaster in Germany have some of theirs on sale. On Watchfinder, there are none of these on sale. So this is obviously still a strong seller. It is a completely different story for the Batman, though. The first generation of Batman with the Oyster bracelet. This is discontinued, but it retailed for around £6,500. Watchfinder have a massive sale on theirs. It's discounted from 14,950 down to 11,875. That is a hefty discount. Box and paper is five years old. That is pretty, I mean, there's one at the end here, which is three years old. Manufacturer's warranty reduced from 14,950 down to 11,975. Still huge amounts of money, but that is a lot of money off. Interestingly, the new watch finder prices are now actually in line with Bob's watches prices. Watchmaster have reduced some of their prices as well, which isn't unheard of for Watchmaster. Watchmaster do fluctuate their prices quite a bit. 
some of their watches are sold um, as a consignment as opposed to buying in stock, whereas Watchfinder, they buy in their stock. As far as I can remember, this is the first time Watchfinder have done a, a sale on steel sports watches by Rolex. The Batwoman, the new version of Batman, is on sale around two grand cheaper, which is a heavy discount on something that is supposed to be hot property. Watchmaster are doing the same. Their watches have been discounted, and actually Bob's watches are coming in at really quite a reasonable, reasonable, <laughs> no, it's not reasonable in the slightest, but they, Bob's watches are the cheapest by quite a long shot. Now for the Pepsi, and we're talking about the Mark II Pepsi, not the Mark I. The Mark I had uh, more more washed out colors. The Mark II Pepsi bezel is pretty much a, a different watch with, with the, the deeper colors in it. Watchfinder only have one in stock and it's weird that they've got that on sale. It's, they're obviously, I don't know what they're trying to do because it, it's bizarre that they'd be pushing the one watch that they have in stock for a sale price. It's, it's a bit weird. Bob's watches didn't have any of these in stock and Watchmaster also have a sale on their watches too. Now the big one is a Daytona. This is an insane, it's an insanely gorgeous watch, but price-wise, it is absolutely ridiculous what has happened to this watch. This watch retails for £9,550 in the UK. Watchfinder are selling theirs at sale price for £23,000. They had it uplisted at 20, over £25,000, which is just insane. It's absolutely, Watchmaster have theirs £5,000 cheaper than Watchfinder. Bob's watches, again, are coming out far, far cheaper. The prices that Watchfinder have listed make Bob watches look like they're some sort of discount store. It is insane, the difference. Bob's watches work out to around £17,000. Watchfinder have theirs listed for £8,000 more than Bob's watches. Absolutely ridiculous. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below what, what you think this means for the watch market. I, I do think that this, I don't think the bubble has completely burst because these are still selling for over double the retail price. But this has been a massive shift from where it was before. And the fact that someone like Watchfinder, the biggest in the UK, doing quite a hefty sale is, is really very telling. You would have thought going into a recession where people will want to have to sell their, their assets like, like these watches, that this would be a good time to sit on stock and hold on to them until the, the economy sorts itself out again. But maybe these watches are starting to cost Watchfinder money. Watchfinder is now owned by Richemont, so maybe the, the dynamic, the, the financial makeup of, of the company is slightly different and they'd prefer to, to push stock out rather than sit on it. Just because the market's going down doesn't mean it's going to completely crash. These watches aren't going to end up being worthless. But there's obviously a, a change in, in what people are doing. Brexit is freaking people out. What's happening over in um, Hong Kong will be impacting this over in the UK. Hong Kong is a very big transport hub for that area of the world but it's also a massive shopping district and that will be impacting this stuff. If people aren't going to Hong Kong to buy watches, then people aren't going to come over to the UK, buy watches tax-free, take them back to Hong Kong and flog them because there's no one to buy them. Equally, if Bob's watches are offering this money over in America, then people from America aren't coming over here to buy the watches. I don't want people to get twisted about this. This is good news. The value of these watches is coming down, which means that they're more accessible for the, the normal people, especially the people who actually want them. Guys, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this stuff. Also, if you're in America, do let me know what you feel is, is happening with the market over there. The normal Q&A video will be coming up. They'll probably go up tomorrow. I had, just had to get this out because people kept DMing me about this topic and, and what was happening, sending me screenshots about stuff. If you do like this stuff, hit subscribe down below. If you want to check out previous videos and articles, jump over to barkandjack.com. Check out our straps over at barkandjack.shop. And check me on Instagram at Bark and Jack, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.